Since I've been putting out videos about the Samsung Galaxy AO3S and mining, I've gotten quite a bit of questions on how can I properly disable updates on the device so that it doesn't auto-update and reboot occasionally whenever the carrier pushes out OTA updates. And for the most part, you can disable this. There are some exceptions to it. But today we're going to walk through real quick how you can do that. So I am already remoted into a Galaxy AO3S. This is one of my various mining phones. And I haven't disabled any of the settings yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to swipe up. We're going to go to settings. And then the first thing we want to do is we want to scroll all the way down to software update. right here and you can see I've already turned this off the auto download over Wi-Fi you want this turned off and then the next setting that we want to do is we want to go back and on the setting screen there's this biometrics and security section you want to go ahead and click on that and then you want to scroll down to the bottom and you want to click other security settings and then once you're in here, you want to scroll down and right here where it says security policy updates, you want to turn this off. Be aware that when you do this, you are turning off security patching on your phone. So keep that in mind. I do recommend people updating their phones to the latest version uh, periodically, but to prevent auto updates, you can turn this off. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to enable developer mode. If you don't already have it enabled, you can do that by going to About Phone, Software Information, and clicking on the build number for about eight times. I already have it turned on. Uh, once you do that, you can go back, and it'll tell you Developer Mode's turned on, and then we can go to Developer Options, and right here you're going to see this Auto Update System. And what we want to do is we want to turn that off. And sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it works really well on older Android devices. Newer Android devices don't use this setting as much, but we always turn it off just to be safe. And then the only other thing you need to do is there are, based on the carrier, sometimes they push device, device updates out through the Google Play Store. And this becomes an issue, and I'm not talking app updates, I'm actually talking operating system level updates. They actually do push through the Google Play Services app. Uh, T-Mobile does this, some of the other carriers do this. So the next step that we want to do to kind of cover all basis as much as we can is to disable it, it within the Google Play Services. So to do that, we just want to go to app settings, so we're going to scroll all the way to the top. You're going to scroll until you see apps. Go ahead and click on apps. And now we want to scroll down until we see Google Play Services. And that's this one here. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And if you scroll down, here you're going to see it has access to change system settings we're going to remove this permission. This should prevent the system, it should prevent the Google Play services from actually applying any updates. So we can go ahead and turn that off. The other thing you can do if you wanna turn off to be safe is you can come into permissions and you can turn off files and media as well. Uh, I'm gonna leave this on on my phone, but this is another kind of fail safe that you can turn that off as well. Now, one thing I do want to mention is this does not work on every device, uh, but more importantly, it doesn't work on every carrier. And that's really where the struggle comes in, is at the carrier level. And so, if you have a track phone device, generally this will work. If you have a T-Mobile device, there's a good chance it may not work. Uh, all of my phones are personally either track phone or Verizon. And so this method has worked well for me. Uh, I haven't had any of my devices update uh, since I have done this. Now I do try to periodically run all of the updates, 
whenever I'm doing any type of like maintenance on my phones or anything like that. I kind of take a maintenance window where I just go through, make sure everything's still working correctly, just check temps, things like that. When I do that, I like to apply the updates on all of the devices so that I am running the latest security patches. Especially critical if you're running these at home on your Wi-Fi and it's not segregated from your, uh, from your home network. Definitely want to make sure that you have all the vulnerability patches in place.